Hey, yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm live on Twitch. All of these segments are Twitch segments. I'm addressing you during my Twitch segment because I care about you. And I want you to feel like I'm doing this for you too. Not just getting a clip off Twitch and I thought it was cool to share. So hit the like. I know, buddy. I know, Di I know Diddy. I know Bust. They need to subscribe. Here's the part when I sneak another bar in. <laughs> it's Tucker Carlson time. And y'all know me. I'm fair and balanced. See, trademark. Beginning early last June, school curricula have changed completely and become explicitly political and open. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. I'm a teacher. Okay, 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 okay. The one thing I won't stand, the one thing we're not going to do right now. <laughs> That's going to be in the VOD. Fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. That's going to be in the VOD. Great. Anyway, the one thing we're not about to do is we're not about to lie about the existence of curriculums being changed. If anything, they've gotten stricter. <laughs> And I tell you that straight up, they've been strict since like 2015 when I really like got into teaching college. But like now I've read the curriculums across 14 different states thus far because I've researched shit so I don't come on here and talk bullshit. It's only going in the opposite direction. As a matter of fact, they're staying away from such divisive topics in any realm of current day politics that they're actually starting to hint towards. So if you guys know... Um, a lot of the textbooks that you probably learned from somewhere probably ended somewhere around 9-11 for those of you in the United States. And then they go on to like this progression of the world chapter and like how things are changing and evolving. Like it, they're only going up to like 2005 now, if not 2007. Nothing's changing. He's full of shit. Seven seconds in and I'm already molding. Openly racist and most parents have just... Openly racist. To who? White people? Sat there on their hands and watched it happen and watched their kids hurt by it. But one group of parents in Loudoun County, Virginia, right outside Washington, is fighting back against all of this, against a curriculum that teaches their kids to hate their country and to judge their classmates based on how they look, on their skin color. This... Let me dismantle this real quick. I'm trying to find the best sentence in my head that would dismantle that entire argument about all of this in one one sentence if i was standing up in front of congress right now and i they said describe why this is and they wouldn't say this but describe why this is bullshit in one sentence if that were true there would be more division among poc by poc than and than anyone else you saying that is discriminant? Yeah, that would be the one sentence. If it were true, you would have to also include the dichotomy between by POC, the light skin versus dark skin argument, the 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 the, the attitudes of well, and I'm doing fuck. It's because I have to do it in his language that I don't want to profess these things as my beliefs. I'm doing this in, in the realm of this conversation. You have to talk about the dichotomy between the well-spoken black people and the hood black people. You'd have to discuss the, the food stamps black people versus the non-food, the work. It don't work in your world. It doesn't work in your framework. How does he have a television show? Why don't I have 459,172 views? We know why, but we're being hyperbolic, hyper, hyper. You know what my problem is? It's like, I could think about the sentence in my head and it, the stream of thought just sounds conscious. And right when I get to the end of it, it's like, how would I end that? <laughs> Several parents had the courage to say this publicly a few days ago at a school board meeting. Wow. Hey, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. CRT is not an honest... Yeah, this is a first-time viewer. Hey, appreciate you. 
Always. I don't like you can see most people come in here and they just listen to me because I have a nice broadcasting voice. Um, yeah, yes, yeah, uh, you're you're more than welcome. You could be from a complete. I've had people come in from right wing channels and argue with me. You're all good, brother. And one once you say hi, once you say everybody bro here. So just just know that I I don't I'm 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 clearly on the spectrum of respecting people's identities. I don't want to assume anything, but I just call everybody bro. I really got to stop it too. <laughs> I I hang out with a girl a lot and I even call her bro and she's like that's nice thanks and I'm like my bad dialogue is a tactic that was used my by bad. Hitler and the Ku Klux Klan on slavery very many years ago to dumb down my ancestors that was cool. and their color hold up several parents had the courage to say this publicly a few days ago at a school board hold meeting up. watch CRT is not an honest dialogue it is a tactic that was used by Hitler and the Ku Klux Klan on slavery very many years ago to dumb down my ancestors. That's it. That's the end of the stream. Goodbye. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I know this bitch did not just say that shit out loud. How you black? How you black? Okay, so I was right, at least to assume, right? Like, I was like, hey, you feel me? You feel me? You cool? I, I, I know, I know that, like, you not black, and you didn't just say CRT was a... And here's my big issue with that, too, is, like, I did a whole long-ass piece explaining the tenets of CRT. came after World War II. Like, that makes me think that this is astroturfed. That makes me think that, like, this isn't real. And we've talked about the astroturfed campaigns of teachers going in, of uh, concerned parents going into schools. Then when we look them up, we find out that they're an actor that's part of a political group that does this often. I'm thinking she one of them. Maybe we'll get a name. So we could not think for ourselves. CRT is racist. It is abusive. It discriminates against one's color. Let me educate you. An honest dialogue does not impress, oppress. An honest dialogue does not implement hatred or... An honest dialogue does not oppress. And why is that happening? Is this loose or something? I hope not. Justice. It's to... Hold on. Let me go back a second. Press. An honest dialogue does not implement hatred or injustice. An honest dialogue does not implement hate or injustice. I don't know why that's happening multiple times. I'm sorry, guys. Does she not? Is is she not? Is she not here right now? Is she not like aware? Does she not know where she's living? Okay, that's happening way too many times now. I'm confused. I'm confused. Why is that happening? Okay, we're unplugging it. We're unplugging it. I hope this isn't loose. Let's hope that's the end of that. Anyway, yeah, do you not know where you live? <laughs> what on is, like, the Ku Klux Klan didn't go into submission because of open and honest dialogue. Because if that were the case, Charlottesville would have not happened. Why do people think Charlottesville was like a, a relic in history? That was like yesterday. <laughs> that was like yesterday. It's to communicate with deceiving, without deceiving people. Today, we don't need your agreement. We want action in the backbone for what we asked for today to ban CRT. Yeah, that's not a real person. I'm going out on a limb. I'm going out on a limb. That's not a real person. Because why would the thing be to ban CRT and not ban the components of it that directly bring up race? Because other parts of CRT uh, talk about socioeconomic status and the ideals behind how we set up the laws in this country and the financial institutions within this country to benefit the early settlers and how we never really removed the barriers 
to these institutions. We just made them widely available and then created other socioeconomic barriers to disbar, let's say, poor people who happen to be disproportionately by POC. See, the argument doesn't work within her own framework. Therefore, why would you want to ban it all outright together unless you're like a shill? I had to come down here today to tell you to your face that we are coming together and we are strong. This will not be the last. Greet and meet respectfully. Said nothing. Wow. The first time we saw that video, our instant response was that woman, her name is Chantel Cooper, deserves an award. Because if I were to come out with the same energy and praise of CRT, I would be the in liberal indoctrinator trying to make your kids hate other hate white kids. But when you're against it, wow, that person deserves praise. So instead of us making statements based on fact or not, we're making statements based on who's going to back it or not. So it doesn't matter if it's truth as long as it serves. And then you can see where if you just listen to that type of talk all the time, the rhetoric would be anything that goes against it is the, the liberal way of trying to tell me I'm wrong and how to live my life, etc. You only believe that because you're pushing your agenda. And again, for the... I feel like for the 55th time, no, let's do a, we'll do a Simon Miller one. We'll, 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 we'll do a Simon Miller. We'll do a what culture one. For the six, 672nd thousand three hundred and forty ninth time, the problem between the left and the right is that the left is slowly trying to repeal back the damage the right has done while the right is just continuing on the damage. You haven't even, I haven't even talked about my positions on things really. It's really walking back and making you understand why this is just completely false. If I can prove that that was, I'm going to do that research offline. If I can prove that this was astroturfed, I got a huge thing for, I got a huge segment on this one. She's a mother. She's a member of the group Parents Against Critical Theory. And we're very pleased to have her on the show tonight. Chantel Cooper. That's why she said it. Because she knew she was going to get on the news. They like black people who go against the liberal grain. Candace Owens, she's seeing it. She know the grift. Thank you very much. What's Critical her name? Theory. And we're very pleased to have her on the show tonight. Chantel Cooper, thank you very much. Chantel Cooper, fuck it, we're doing the research now. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. CRT. Okay. Okay. All right. Being shared on Daily Wire. Everything Croton, Free Beacon, Washington Examiner. Okay. Okay. Hold on a moment. Fuck Ben Shapiro. Black mother, Chantel, could that's what I needed. I figured I spelled it wrong. Proud American mother and wife. It's time to clean house in America. Remove the attorney general, lay siege to the universities, abolish the teachers unions, and overturn the school boards. Yeah, no, this is hard, AstroTurfed. She's retweeting Newsmax. She's retweeting new Newsmax. See? Even if it is a real person, it would still... Even if it is a real person, Terry McGovern, a critical to but in 2015, when he was last governor of the Department of Education, instructed public schools to embrace critical race theory in order to re-engineer attitudes and belief systems. Let me see. Legal and... Legal implications of school discipline, street cred, culturally responsive and equitable discipline, reframing disciplinary practice through a tiered system of supports. Uh, culturally responsive alternatives continued. There's a picture missing then, wouldn't it be? Incorporate critical race theory lens, critical race theory, cultures, embrace critical, engage in race conscious teaching and learning, facilitate sustainability. Something that this right here doesn't feel right because then why would they do everything like that? Townsend Walker, uh, re engineer attitudes and belief systems, which is what we should be doing. Um, in other words, that's the no, this is this is a lie. Hold on, did anybody point this out? 
We need to teach reading comprehension. Nothing there says teach CRT to students. It's advising being aware of racial dynamics in the classroom, which good teachers always are. Do you know how long it took Virginia schools to integrate after being instructed to do so? CRT equals culturally responsive teaching. Oh my God, I didn't even read that. No, I need reading comprehension because I was looking for something else. I think that, yeah. I think it's CRT, culturally responsive teaching. Yeah. Teach code switch. This doesn't feel right. This doesn't, this doesn't. This feels. Yeah, and it's Christopher Ruffo, Rufo posting it. Yeah, we all know about that bullshit. Okay, so I'm going to go out on a limb. I know I normally don't. How old is her Twitter? Ooh, that's a good point. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Good catch. May 2021. Hold up. Hold up. May 2021, the same time that she went on Tucker Carlson? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Holy shit. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Only 57 tweets. Hold up. Hold up. Let's go all the way back to the beginning then. We have time for this. Hold up. Hold up. Her very first tweet was made after she made after she went on the show. The first thing she retweeted, she didn't make a tweet of herself. The first thing she retweeted was Ian Pryor. Fight for schools. Another one of those, another one of those people. This lady fought back. Chantel Cooper smashing goes in America first. Something's not right here. Something's not right here. John Betty for not a 16 standing ovation. Coalition. This is astroturfed. This has got to be. She don't daily caller. She keeps talking about John Betty fight for schools. London County teacher reveals critical race theory indoctrination on Rumble. Luden, sorry, Luden County. The Federalist. I've seen this video before, too. Robbie Starbuck, we need to do a whole thing on him. He keeps coming up, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to dismantle him as an entire human being at one point. And I'm, I've, it's on the screen. I know I've said I'm going to do it for years, but just let me have this right now. Um, she's talking about borders. More Ian Pryor. Powerful clip at the NC GOP addressing Kaepernick and those that claim the old reparations for slavery. There are some people that were talking about reparations in this country. They wanted reparations. And I remember I made this particular liberal so angry at me because... Again, it's about making the libs mad. Uh, it was making the libs mauled. It, it, I wonder I why. I told them right to their face, nobody owes you anything for slavery. Yeah, yeah, this is astroturfed. This is astroturfed. This is this is astroturfed. Act for America, the Marxist teaching of crazy. Yeah, this is astroturfed. I don't have the direct proof. Obviously, I can't tell from just a Twitter. Matter of fact, let me look to see if they have any.
school that would not teach you, but we were able to get what I say, curriculums, information teacher would provide showing the teacher. I have one of the trainings the teacher in which I stated in my last panel was the teacher's representative's parent. Right now we call them at I'd like to tell, now they change the wording to critical, actually cultural responsive framework. When you look at the two critical race theory and then cultural responsive framework, they didn't change anything in the curriculum. They just changed the title so you can see the same thing. We're still fighting the anything and changes with the anti bias. The teacher is the parent. Uh, yes, and no one of the states, white, pe- uh, white children have nothing to worry about. They don't want to think about how they can help others and black children. The DLS because said they're on this really bothers because when you're young, you're not thinking about those kind of things. You want to do your homework and get hanged. Yeah, Astro Turfed. Astro Turfed. That's not a real parent. That's not a real parent. That's not a real parent. Where is her kid in that in that entire thing? That's not that's not a real parent. I need I need more. I need more. I need more. I need more. Um let's look at I let's see if IMBD uh IMBD has anything. No, nothing. Nothing. Um just that. Known for Tucker Carlson tonight. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. Okay. No, every literally her entire social media profile got uprooted, like literally started the day after she went on. <laughs> Polish news. You see, this is what I'd be talking about. This is this is what I'd be talking about. This is what I'd be talking about. This is what I be talking about. These, when people say do your research, this is what I be saying. This is the research you should be doing. Reach a conclusion against what you think, because my main brain would say, okay, this is just you know Tucker Carlson taking advantage of a situation, you know, to get score points for the right or whatever, blah blah. But like, go a little bit deeper into it. What? Who is she? Tucker Carlson in some colleges, the Killer Mockingbird is out. Sexual propaganda is in. Generations. Immigrants overwhelmingly well for the. They give extra. Reports give extra and not to them. Oh, these sad white liberals who wish to blow everything. That's why I thoroughly solved a whole lot of locations with like way more liberal news. Immigrants as other states procedure. Check out what the fuck is this article. That's so weird. I'm looking for that paid actor part. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Um, remember the fact that... Check the faculties if you don't imagine it. Uh, Lone the Nation used to have famous good colleges. Folks with which is college run by lunatics who hate the nation. It occurred quick all the time it does. Beneath is what's stated as a community today. Is the primary individual is a center faculty is referring to as... Remember the fact that Andrea Weisskopf is definitely a center faculty instructor. She's not a paid actor. We didn't make her as much as a show a show degree. She's completely actual. Obstentiously displayed pronouns in her Twitter bio. Miss Weisskopf de- defined how the e-book To Kill a Mockingbird, an e-book the remainder of us assumed was all about why racism is unhealthy, is actually itself racist as a result of it causes one thing referred to as racial trauma because of, reality, because of the reality there are white folks in it. It's humorous how they're so afraid of getting their kids seeing one of the views said if you speak about this, let's learn to kill a mockingbird collectively. In the event that you're in a position to contemplate the racial trauma, this e-book causes black kids with its white saviorism that you have any enterprise discussion in any books. That's literally true. That that is the argument about To Kill a Mockingbird. That is the the, the author. Th- there's a whole thing about that. Astroturfed. Astroturfed. We're ending the segment like that. I don't even want to listen to the rest of it, but it's astroturfed. It's got to be. There's no way. Thank you very much for coming on. What made you Thank do you this? So many parents have not done this. You. She's not mentioned her kid once. And, and you know what? Just to make sure. Just to make sure. Hold on, just, just to make sure. Cooper is the mother of two biracial students in two by. Why would they specify that? What the hell is that? Culturally responsive teaching. 
what is cultural competence, literally every but implicit bias. Yeah, that's a that's a thing. Oh, astroturfed, astroturf to all hell. Stood up there and did this on camera. Why? Well, it contradicts. It's crazy. I've, this segment's been going on for 23 minutes, 24, now going on 25 minutes, and we've only made it through a minute and a half of this video. <laughs> No way. Yeah, Everything it's got to be. Everything that Martin Luther King fought for, it's hatred, Marxist ideology. Yeah, yeah, it's astroturfed. Why would she care about Marxist ideology? Like, fought for. Right-wing talking hatred, point. Hatred, Marxist ideology, and it places the child in a loophole of oppression, making them feel as a victim. I can't stand for that. Literally the entirety of the line that we've heard since this day, because this video is now seven months old. Amazing. Amazing. So d describe the kinds of things that you're that you're fighting against. So the school is teaching children to judge one another on the basis of of appearance, on, uh, of skin color. Is that That's right? That's not true. Yeah. We literally looked up everything that she was talking about and it's not true. Yes. Well, it's our job as parents to raise our children, not the school board. Again, just like I had in the, in, in the panel with Joe literally re-referencing that we raise your kids as well we spend from eight o'clock to three o'clock with them quite possibly from eight to five thirty if not during the time of after school when we let kids go so from eight to six you spend maybe six to twelve with them and then go to sleep one example i can right. give you was um the school was replacing the morning announcement with news the second uh, children reached out to f the morning announcement with news. Why is that a bad thing? The second, uh, children reached out to find out how they could help and join a club to see if they could, you know, relate with one another undivided. And they were denied by the color of their skin for the Equity Ambassador Club. Students in the SEALS program will participate in cross-regional communities such as student led professional each selected for two to three sophomores and juniors to participate. Um, it's a multicultural thing. Um, that's Then that's a lie. Then so that's a lie. Kid, kids couldn't get into, I don't even know what colors you're talking about, but, but the fact remains kids could not get into a club because they He skipped it. This segment right here is where I can finally say without a shadow of a doubt that Tucker Carlson is full of shit. Because he skipped that point right there. It doesn't matter what color. It, the fact is that kids were denied as if they couldn't be denied on a, on a slew of other factors. Maybe the club is full. <laughs> like literally use your head for three seconds. They were the wrong color. Holy Correct. shit. Look up her husband. Well, That's a good that point, too. How is different from darker periods, periods we consider evil in American history? That's how America's only been a country since 1776, and literally every single time in the darkest of our darkest times, it has always been white people oppressing people who weren't white, which is why I hate the whole idea of the Italian argument, because, yo, like, <clears throat> like, I don't know, man. Sounds very similar. Well, plain example, you cannot further brotherhood of a man by encouraging class hatred. But that's not what critical race theory is. And the, ir the ironic point is the summer of love was like during the civil rights movement. How old is she? Ooh, public record. Wait, she got a Facebook? Hold on, she got a Facebook? Yeah. 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 
Yeah. Yeah. While her husband is white. Wait, hold on, wait, what? What is this picture? Okay, that, then why did they use this as the header? Jess, okay, thank you. Jessica Mendez, continue reading for free. Bro, just, just let me fucking, just let me fucking. Anyway, 100% astroturfed. Our constitution 100 is what unites astroturfed. us, not the color of our skin. Yes. So America, it's just time for us to stand up for one another. You know, this, this is the last free country. <laughs> the motherfuckers in Switzerland are like, don't look at me, don't look like, you know the meme, you know the meme with 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 the, with the uh, the puppet, and he's like, <laughs> that's Switzerland right now. Like, please do not. Most Nordic countries, you know, just don't look at me. Don't last free country. As if London is restrictive. As if Canada is restrictive. As if Australia, as if Japan, Thailand, South Korea, Italy, German, even Germany is like, don't look at the entire, everything on the other side of the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. They're just like, I'm so glad an ocean divides us. I'm so glad an ocean device. What was the response? I love to hear you say that, and I agree with that 100%. What was the response when you did this, when you spoke so publicly about what your school was teaching? You got well, mad support because as we looked, there weren't really any articles like saying how you're a grifter, so... Well, it's been positive. I never knew that there were so many parents that felt the way I did. I love people. So for anyone to go against, you know, good... But be be okay with evil. You can't fix a bad reaction with another bad action. It just doesn't make sense. That's right. That's exactly right. Chantel Cooper, I'm I'm so glad that you came on the show tonight. And what a voice you are. I hope people will emulate you. Thank you very well, much. Thank you for having me. Hey, yeah. Sean Hannity here. This is astroturfed. 100% astroturfed. I'm going with it. Sorry. That's the end of the segment. I didn't know it was going to be a 32-minute segment. I apologize. If you're on YouTube right now, hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Hit that bell to stay notified. That's the deep dive. And we're like, that's astro... We have a problem. We have a big fucking problem. And I think we're going to have to add something to the segments up there. Because we have to address that. Holy shit.